HISD superintendent to preserve funding for local schools. Today, Richard Carranza gave his first state of the schools address since taking the job. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is now live with the big issues the superintendent addressed. Brandon. Yeah, Keith, that talk was extensive. It generated lots of applause from the audience. Carranza talking a lot about HISD's successes and academic plans for the future, but it started with a look at how schools are funded in part, a plan the superintendent says doesn't work and ultimately hurts students within HISD. The state of HISD began with what leaders say works. Students from Codwell Elementary School's violin ensemble greeted guests to the annual State of the Schools. Weren't those students incredible? HISD Superintendent Richard Carranza you. touting the students' talent out of the gate in his first State of the Schools address. And as we look to the future, we will invest in the arts in the HISD. Carranza used arts investment as a segue to a much more serious conversation, that on school finance, primarily the issue of recapture. Because of a broken and outdated school finance system, HISD, with 76% economically disadvantaged students, is considered property wealthy. Recapture is a method state lawmakers use to fund public education. School districts deemed property tax rich, like HISD, are required by law to send money to the state. That money, in turn, is used to fund school districts deemed property tax poor. This is the most pressing issue for HISD. Voters last November opted to do away with recapture, a way to force the state's hand to change how it funds schools, according to supporters. But last week, HISD's Port of Trustees voted to bring the ballot question back to voters, which will happen during a special election in May. Carranza's message to lawmakers? Simply put, we are asking that future local tax dollars stay in local schools. Now, Carranza did not offer his opinion on the Board of Trustees' decision last week again to bring that question of recapture back to voters. His bottom line, again, recapture as it is currently articulated does not work and ultimately hurts students within the Houston Independent School District. We are live tonight downtown. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. The